हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इफ यू हैवन सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल येट नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम ट्वेल्व थर्टीन इन दिस प्रॉब्लम इट इज सेड दैट टेस्ट टेस्ट रिवील दैट अ नॉर्मल ड्राइवर टेक्स पॉइंट सेवन फाइव सेकेंड्स बिफोर ही और शी कैन रिएक्ट टू सिचुएशन टू अवॉइड अ कोलिजन राइट सो द नॉर्मल ड्राइवर टेक्स पॉइंट सेवन फाइव सेकेंड सो लेट मी राइट दैट नॉर्मल ड्राइवर so he takes 0.75 seconds and similarly the the drunk driver right so the drunk driver takes 3 seconds so it takes about 3 seconds for a driver having 0.1% alcohol in his system to do the same right so he takes 3 seconds to apply the brakes right so if such drivers are traveling on a straight road at uh, 44 feet per second so let's say that both the drivers are moving with the 44 feet per second and their cars can deaccelerate at 2 feet per second so the acceleration rate is given let me write that the deaccelerator is constant which is minus 2 feet per second square and the initial velocity is this 44 feet per second right so it is said that determine the shortest stopping distance d from the moment they see the pedestrian so we have to find the the distance d right so the stopping distance d right so first uh, we have to find the initial distance uh, when they will travel when when they just see the pedestrians right so the distance travel until the brakes the brakes are applied right so let's say that this is the distance d dash which the driver which the car travels after which they apply the brakes right so let's say that this is the point at which they apply the brakes right so this is the point of brake application right so at this point the brakes are applied so we have to first find this d dash distance right so let's assume that the car is moving with the constant velocity for this uh, d dash distance right so the normal driver will take this much distance to apply the brakes right so the reaction time for the normal driver is 0.75 seconds so he will take uh, if we apply if you are if you find this d dash right so this d dash will be v1 times t right so this will be the distance after which he will apply the brakes right so this distance will be traveled uh, is he or she react right so this d dash is v1 times t right so this is 44 into t so t is 0.75 for the normal driver right so this is 33 feet so in a distance of 33 feet the normal driver will apply his brakes right so he will travel 33 feet after seeing the pedestrians right so he will travel 33 feet right and similarly the drunk the drunk driver will take let's find the d dash for the drunk driver as well right so this will be v1 times t and this will be 44 into 3 so this comes out to be 132 feet so the drunk driver will, will travel 132 feet after he applies the brake right so this is the distance traveled so the drunk driver took will take more time of uh, when he will apply the brakes right so the normal driver takes 33 feet he will travel 33 feet distance and then he will apply brakes and the drunk driver will travel 132 feet after he will apply the brakes right so now we will find this distance d right so we will apply so he will apply the brakes so then he will stop and and this distance when he will travel so the car will deaccelerate with this rate right so we have to find and this is the deacceleration is constant right so now we can find this by using this formula this is v square v not square plus half sorry this is uh plus 2 ac s minus s not right so this d dash is the s not distance right for the normal driver and this will be the s not distance the initial distance traveled for the drunk driver right so this is 2ac right so and 
after a distance g they will stop right so the final velocity will be zero for both the drivers right so the final velocity will be zero v naught is equal to v1 which is 44 feet per second and s naught is for this uh, normal driver s naught is 33 feet and s is equals to d so we are finding this d for both the drivers right so in when i use this equation so then this will be when i put all these values in this equation so v is 0 so this is 0 square this will be 44 square plus 2 and this is minus 2 and this will be d minus 33 right so we will be able to find the distance d for the normal driver i will find it a bit later right and now if we apply the same equation for this drunk driver so then Again, the final velocity will be 0 for the drunk driver. So, this will be v square. Initial velocity is the same, which is 44 plus 2. And ac is again the same, minus 2. And now, the initial distance, the only difference in both the situation is the initial distance traveled, right? So, this will be s minus 132. This is s naught for the drunk driver, right? So, this will give, and this s is equal to d. Right, so now we can find D for both the drivers. So let me find it. So for the normal driver, the stopping distance is 517 feet, and for the drunk driver, the stopping distance is 615 feet. Right, so this is the solution of this problem.